Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, unto heaven and earth passes away. Not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law, unto all things having taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of these lists of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We live in a stage time. I would even dare to say it ridiculous. On the one hand, moral laws are considered not only outdated, but oppressive. Man has to get rid of ethical laws to be free, and only the freedom to do what one wants without consequences is considered worthy of being human. But, on the other hand, there are more than more laws. The parliaments of all countries are something feverish with the publication of new laws of all kinds some that are ridiculous, especially compared to other things. Not long ago, for example, the nuncio of His Holiness in Spain said that after the new law of animal protection that has been trailed in Spain, it is more punishable to kill an animal, certain animals, than to kill the human being in the mother's womb, which has also become a right. There are laws for everyone, and yet the laws that are really important are considered oppressive and must be suppressed. For example, the moral laws referring to the Sixth Commandment. It is considered the talking about the Sixth Commandment in all aspects of the Sixth Commandment, from masturbation, pornography, but also relationships, men, woman, men, 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 Woman, woman, extra mar marital relationships. Relationships within marriage is considered taboo, that no one can say anything at all, because if you say anything, you are immediately branded as backward and oppressive. But the reality is that there has never been so much sexual abuse as in our time. The great amount of abuse against minors or against young people, not only by members of their family, that the vast majority of abuses occur within the family, but by the school's mates, by co-workers, often abuses they have as victims very young children. On the one hand, everyone can do whatever they want, and on the other hand, encouraged by his this completely lacks morality. On the other hand, there are some who do not know how to respect the minimum standards, not even the legal ones, and they fall. The newspapers are full of every day of these stories, sometimes of gangs of minors who abuse minors, and sometimes even of people who have other possibilities and who, nevertheless, resort to abusive groups of soccer players or even allied personalities. We have a problem. We have come to this stupid conclusion that every moral norms is bad for men, while I insist, in a contradictory way, we are continuously increasing new laws that make our lives so regulate that there are already many who say that it is difficult to express yourself in this context of having to take care of the political correctness because you have to be yourself, censoring if you don't want that from one side or other you get the stakes and sometimes even legal complaints. What does Jesus teach us? Let us Catholics look at that. What does Jesus teach us? Jesus does not say, freedom will make you true. 
That is what some politicians say. Jesus says, the truth will make you free. The truth will set you free. It is very different. First, the truth. As a consequence of the truth. Freedom. Today we say freedom. First, do what I want and what I, what I want. What I want. You don't like it. I don't care because I am going to do it because what I want is the truth. The truth. It does not exist anymore. There is my truth, your truth, his truth, and my truth. Can be in contradiction in open struggle with yours. I don't care. The Lord teaches us that the truth makes us free. And teaches us what the truth is or better said. Who is the truth? Because the truth is not an idea. The truth is a person. I am, says Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. Or other words, the I am, that was the first use with that burning bush when Moses came to him in surprise while he was in the wilderness and asked him who he was and told his name. I am that I am. Jesus uses that ancient form of expressing divinity to say, I am. I am God, and I am truth. Christ is the truth. I am God, and I am the truth. Christ is the truth. I am God, and I am the truth. And as I am the God who reveals to you, Jesus Christ is love. What he is saying, love is truth. But the love of Christ, not the love of of the passions and the love of sometimes tremendously apparent things which are called love. Let us not be afraid of the laws, of the laws that Jesus teaches us. No, they are for our good. I am not saying that they are not constantly, yes, in all areas. Not only in the Sixth Commandment, of course, marital fidelity is certainly costly, as it is priestly fidelity, and surely at a certain ages it is costly not to masturbate or not to resort to pornography. When you are depressed or alone, surely yes. Well, let us ask God, our Lord, for help. Let us prepare ourselves to face these temptations. Let us confess when we have sinned, and in the church, The sinner has never been thrown out because if the sinner was thrown out, there could be no one left except the Blessed Virgin. There could be no one left. The church has always welcomed the sinner who comes saying, Lord, forgive me. I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am repent. This is much healthier, much more intelligent, and much more useful than saying that sin does not exist and that all laws must be abolished. I repeat that, curiously, the only one to suppress the laws referring to the Sixth Commandment for the comfort of each one of us. We could have something to object against the laws that establish that a violent man or a violent woman has to be separated from his partner, who he has beaten, wouldn't we? We could say, those laws that are well put, because law that establishes that the violent person keeps distance for, from the person assaulted by him is a good law. Therefore, there are laws that we consider good, civil laws, and also moral laws. Why this anarchy with respect to morality? That is destroying us as people and it is destroying our social relationships. Let us not be afraid of the law that Jesus Christ gives us. They can be difficult to accomplish with. Let us try to prepare ourselves with aesthetics, with self-control. Let us resort to the sacraments. Let us go to prayer. Let us ask for forgiveness if we have sinned, but let us not deceive ourselves 
by saying that freedom to do whatever we want will make us free because that freedom what it makes us is slaves. Amen.